Hello again. Zombie Town is a comedic zombie movie from 2007. There is no cure, no escape, no rescue, and no one left to trust. When a deadly parasite That's what's causing your violent behavior. turns the residents of a small Vermont town into the spawn of <laughs> Now, three friends are the only ones shot Miss Mahoney. Yeah, I never did care for her much. Who can stop Armageddon? What does that mean? We got what? 150 zombies? Welcome to Otis. We can't go around wasting our neighbors. It's one of those zombie things. Jesus, I sat next to her in church last Sunday. I tell you, you won't be sitting next to her this Sunday. <laughs> the battle <laughs> has begun. Welcome to Zombie Town. You've got to be kidding me. Before we get started, spoiler alert. Somewhere in a Vermont forest, a hunter is unsuccessfully running for his life. From what? We will soon see. Then again, this is a zombie movie. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. In a cabin, not too far away though, four others are sitting around waiting for their friend to return. He does however, and soon every hunter is bitten or devoured. The zombies in this movie are fairly quick moving and have a strange sound. They're strongly attracted to blood also. The next morning we meet Jake, an unskilled auto mechanic working on an ice cream truck in his shop. His brother, Denton, calls him into the office. A towing job takes them out near the cabin from earlier. Along the way, they meet up with Alex, who once had a thing with Jake and still harbors feelings for him. She's collecting samples of mutated wildlife in the area to study in a lab back in town. They talk briefly. The vehicle that needs to be towed leads the brothers to the cabin and the grisly remains of last night's zombie attack as well. That's not all though. Denton finds one of the zombies are still lurking about. He and his brother take out the zombie the way the hunters should have, by shooting it. But they weren't quick enough, and Denton gets hurt, a bite and a broken leg. Unable to make it on foot, Denton sends his brother back to town to get help. On his way back to town, he narrowly misses Marge Mahoney and her dog, Mr. Slippers. Jake meets up with Alex and they both go to Sheriff Lou. After much convincing, Sheriff Lou is a moron, he follows them up to the cabin. Denton is missing at first though. They soon find him, hobbling around and zombified. Not realizing the zombie outbreak for what it is, the sheriff locks up Denton until they can find out what's making him act crazy. At the police station, we overhear a call come in that some weirdo has bitten Mrs. Mahoney's dog. Alex and Jake are now at the local bar drinking and trying to figure out what's going on. The sheriff, meanwhile, goes to check on Denton but he's creeped out by the way he's acting and leaves the cell area quickly. Denton acts real odd, then slumps over and doesn't move. Suddenly, dozens of fanged slugs begin tearing out of his body, crawling all over the police station. Back at the bar, Randy, local moron and general pain in the butt, is picking on Jake. Jake doesn't take the bait though, and leaves. The police station is overrun with slugs and before you know it, Sheriff Lou is a zombie too. You see, the slugs infested the toilet just before Lou went in and they got him. I just knew he would get it in the end. Alex and Jake arrive back at the police station and find Sheriff Lou missing. Jake freaks out when he discovers his brother's body and he and Alex almost get attacked by slugs. Fortunately, Randy arrives and helps them. Huh, I guess Randy's not such a jerk after all. They leave the station, but on the way out, Alex collects a slug with a jar to study in her lab. Meanwhile, at the bingo hall, a large group of old people are getting ready to play. Moments later, Marge arrives to play also, and she has a bandage on her arm from where Mr. Slippers has bitten her. Apparently, he's not behaving tonight. 
Back at the lab, Alex discovers that the slugs reproduce rather quickly and she, Randy, and Jake need to figure out a way to kill them. They learn Salt does the trick and formulate a plan. At the bingo hall, Marge turns full Z and begins biting people everywhere. Meanwhile, Randy and Jake go out to see if they can help the townsfolk while Alex gathers more info on the slugs. Arriving at the bingo hall, they encounter some zombies and learn that only headshots count. I didn't think I would like Randy at first, but he grows on you. In the lab, a zombie sneaks up on Alex. She's quick though and takes him out. Afterwards, a hasty autopsy reveals more clues about the slugs and the connection to the undead. Randy and Jake return and they all three soon leave to get salt items for the final battle. At a nearby party, we find a bunch of college students getting drunk and fornicating. The movie provides a bit of fan service here. Thank you, movie. Then suddenly the topless girl gets bitten by one of the zombified old ladies. Thanks a lot, movie. More zombies pour in and the three friends arrive just in time to rescue a few people, including Jimbo, Billy, and a girl. We never find out her name, by the way. Jake, Billy, and the girls go to get some guns while Randy and Jimbo get salt. Loading the guns with rock salt, Billy and Jake prepare for the worst. Randy, meanwhile, finds dynamite and Jimbo finds a zombie and death. One of the zombies just happens to be Randy's boss. Nice. Randy meets back up with the group and it's time for the final showdown. Combining the salt from Randy's run with three huge water towers and dynamite, the trap is ready. Jake finishes his work on the ice cream truck from earlier and they go about leading the zombie horde to the trap. Unfortunately, along the way Randy falls out of the truck and is attacked by zombies. The mission must go on though and the ice cream truck leads the zombies to the trap. Unfortunately, again, something goes wrong at the water towers and it looks like the plan may fail. At the last second, Randy shows up. Quite bitten up and almost about to turn, he manages to save the day and spring the trap. The salt water melts the zombies. Hooray! Alex and Jake engage in playful banter and plan their future together as they walk away from the scene. They're completely oblivious to the movement behind them as they leave. It appears as though multiple zombies somehow survived. Oh well, roll credits. How do they survive? Don't know. Because a sequel must be made, I guess. Overall, it's an average movie, more good than bad. I give it a 6 out of 10. Once again, this has been Zylestos with the wide world of zombie movies, and don't forget, be safe, be smart, be ready.